Since 2021, more than 6 million illegal immigrants have been apprehended at the southern border. That is more than the populations of 30 American states and more than the combined populations of Wyoming, Alaska, North Dakota, South Dakota, Idaho, and Montana combined. This investigation by muckraker.com proves that the collapse of the United States southern border is the result of deliberate planning by government and non-government entities. This story takes place inside the Darien Gap, the artery connecting North and South America, where the mass migration pipeline to the United States begins. To put it simply, migrants who cannot fly into any North American country first fly into South America, most frequently Quito, Ecuador, due to its easy entry requirements. From Ecuador, the migrants cross into Colombia and then trek across the Darien Gap, a lawless section of jungle where migrants are frequently raped, robbed, or killed. Those who make it across the jungle find themselves in Panama. This is where our story begins. Hola, hola, ¿cómo estás? What's going down, baby? What are you doing? Hey, babe. What's up, friend? Bueno. ¿Qué país? Colombia. Colombia? ¿Todos? ¿Colombia? Perú. 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 Pregunta muy importante. ¿Te gusta uh, Presidente Trump o Presidente Biden? Biden. Biden. Me gusta el presidente Trump o el presidente Biden. ¿Qué país? ¿Todos de Venezuela? Venezuela, ¿qué país? ¿Qué país? Venezuela. ¿Todos Venezuela? Venezuela. 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 Immediately after migrants enter the camp, they are processed by Panamanian authorities and catered to by various international government and non-government organizations. A few on the scene include OIM, Red Cross, UNICEF, HIAS, European Union, Doctors Without Borders, UNHCR, and the Norwegian Refugee Council. All of these organizations play a role in a carefully planned mass migration pipeline. Although Panama, the rest of Central America, and Mexico offer safe havens where migrants can seek refuge, nearly all migrants will head to the United States. This is facilitated by the various groups mentioned earlier, who offer migrants aid and instructions on how to get to the United States. Migrants receive various maps detailing exactly how to trek to the U.S. border. This map, displayed in a highest care facility, shows the migrant path across Panama and Costa Rica, in this footage, a highest worker can be seen explaining exactly how to cross Panama. ¿Cuánto es el costo de ese bus? Ese bus le va a cobrar 40 dólares. ¿Cuánto tiempo va a demorar ese bus? Ese bus demora 14 horas aproximadamente. Si en la noche ustedes van a hacer transbordo en Ciudad de Panamá. A more comprehensive map is distributed by the Red Cross. This map not only shows multiple migration routes to the United States, but also includes rest stops across Central America and Mexico. El el tren se va hasta acá, hasta acá, por acá. Aquí están las vías del tren. Todas las vías del tren que están acá son las vías del tren que te llevan directo hacia Laredo. Laredo. A ah, Laredo. Laredo. Es Ajá. la última destinación. El último destino, Laredo o Piedras Negras. How did you learn about this route? Porque ya personas han pasado por acá y ya nos han indicado el destino hacia por, por el destino donde tenemos que pasar. Y acá nos dieron en la Cruz Roja, nos dieron este, este mapa para identificar las rutas por donde nos vamos a ir. A similar map is handed out by Medico Sin Fronteras, also known as Doctors Without Borders. Perhaps the most striking form of this aid is a bag which we call a rape kit. It is handed out by the OIM in Colombia, 
before migrants trek through the Darien Gap. The kit, which contains condoms and morning after pills, allows migrants to get raped more safely in the jungle. Why are all these groups encouraging migrants and aiding them on this deadly journey? Why is this happening on an organized industrial scale? And why does the U.S. border remain wide open? In September 2015, the United Nations General Assembly adopted the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. The agenda provides a quote-unquote blueprint for peace and prosperity for people and the planet, now and into the future. At its heart are the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. Agenda 2030 outlines a blueprint for world socialism, stating that we are embarking on a collective journey to build a world free of poverty, hunger, disease, and want. In a related paper by the IOM titled Migration and the 2030 Agenda, a clear plan for mass migration of people is presented. The report begins by stating, The 2030 Agenda recognizes migration as a core development consideration, which marks the first time migration is integrated explicitly into the global development agenda, and further states, quote, it is possible to link migration to every goal in the 2030 Agenda. Shockingly, the report refers to migrant men, women, and children as agents of development. Finally, the report states that we should not focus efforts on trying to stop migration, facilitating, not restricting. Migration is the priority. It is clear that this illegal migration is indeed being facilitated and encouraged, for example, UNICEF, also known as the United Nations Children's Fund, hands out these care packages at Panamanian migration camps. Notice the subtle messaging on the bag that reads, Trust yourself, you can, encouraging the migrants to continue on their journey. On the back of a Red Cross map, information is given about the use of freight trains for transportation. Rather than denouncing the dangerous form of transportation, Migrants are told to remain seated and look out for any branches, electrical cables, or tunnels. At San Vicente Migrant Camp, rows of brand new unused bunk beds have been installed. This is likely in anticipation of an increase in illegal migration. Perhaps the most alarming aspect of the situation is the clear national security threat at hand. Many of those headed to the United States are military-aged males. There are also large groups of Chinese nationals passing through these camps on a daily basis. It is possible, and indeed likely, that many of the Chinese coming to the United States are either beholden to or working for the CCP. While it is likely that many of these migrants are good people, there's no doubt that these groups serve as camouflage for spies, criminals, and other nefarious actors seeking to penetrate our borders undetected. Powerful organizations, thousands of miles away, are facilitating the collapse of the U.S. southern border. Among many consequences of this, one will be permanent political demographic change. Most of these migrants are loyal to the Democratic Party due to their immigration and open border policies. Allow this to go on for long enough, and the United States will be a country dominated by one-party rule. If the American people don't act soon, the United States as we know it will be gone forever.